Hello there, good people of God, people who are instructed according to Matthew 22, 34 to 40, to love them, their neighbors as themselves. This is an, an invitation for us to treat others the way we want to be treated in return so that the world will be a better place. Warm welcome to your gospel encouragement program, Meaningful 5 Minutes with Mommy Reads, where we use biblical tidbits to encourage ourselves and miss daily discouragements. We heartily appreciate you all for your views, your likes, your comments, your shares, your suggestions, your subscriptions, and all that you're doing to take us a step further in the work of the Lord. We pray that as you continue to do so, may God continue to meet you at the point of need at a time when you least expect in Jesus' name. We are all very aware of the fact that salvation was made possible because God gave us his son unconditionally to die on the cross of Calvary for you and for me. And so my brother, my sister out there, if you have not yet accepted God's gift of love on the cross of Calvary for you and for me, have everything because as you already know, time is passing and passing very fast. By the special grace of God, also, we've been able to share several topics from slot 1 to 111. The last being the fact that we should not allow the negative aspects of our culture. We should not allow falsehood. We should not allow pride and selfishness to extinguish the love that we are expected to show to one another. Praise the Lord. By the way, belated happy Valentine's Day. We hope the day was well spent and that everything went according to plan and according to the will of the Lord. We also know that in the course of the week on the 11th of February, we celebrated the Youth Day and we are just reminding ourselves as youths out there that we should remember that Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 1 tells us not to forget our creator in the days of our youth. Despite the fact that we are beautiful, we are energetic, we are adventurous as youth, we should not carry out actions that will cause our parents to weep, that will cause us to regret, or that will cause our future children to suffer. We should not give in to adventures that will cause us to have diseases, that only the mention of the name of the disease is already paramount or tantamount to a death sentence, or that we have to face the reality of a lifelong treatment. We should remember that we are not the first to be the youth or we are not the last to be the youth and so we should try to live a life of cushion even as youths as we were saying happy valentine's day once again and so today in slot 112 we have a topic love remixed praise the lord our main passage is matthew chapter 5 from verse 15 to 16 where we are told that let our light shine before men that others will see and give glory to our father in heaven beloved in the lord in love remix today we'll be encouraging ourselves to desist from the things that the world applauds we live in a world where before a man even opens his mouth to ask a woman out he has already stripped the woman naked in his mind before a woman even has the courage or courtesy to give her telephone number to a man she has already calculated his bank account and how fast she will spend his money a parent no longer gives the child the opportunity to choose what he or she wants to do in school instead he or she imposes what the child is supposed to do because he has already calculated the benefit what he stands to gain if the child does this or that other profession siblings no longer help each other out of love but as a result of what they stand to gain what they will get in return if they offer a service or if they render you some help. Marriage is no longer a union of two individuals or two hearts that have decided to beat as one, but it is now a family arrangement, an arrangement which is mutually beneficial for both families, whether or not the people concerned are in love with one another or not. Beloved in the Lord, we are remixing the love that God has for us. And this is not what God had in mind when he sent his son to die on the cross of Calvary for you and for me. Beloved in the Lord, we are told in Luke chapter 6, verse 31, that we should do unto others what we expect them to do unto us. And so every action that you make out on another person, think of it this way. If the same thing is done to me, how will I feel? If it causes you pain, if it makes you feel bad, if it causes you sorrow, rest assured, the other person to whom you are about to do that same action will feel the exact same way. So we are told that we are the light of the world. And so the watching world expects more from us as children of God, as believers, as brethren in a particular church. Let us be people who show the watching world the unconditional love that Jesus showed for us and not the remixed love 
that the world is already showing. And so my brother, my sister, if you're out there and you have not yet given your life to Christ, just bow your head and say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Wash me with the blood of the Lamb. Give me the power to hate sin. Give me the power to live right. And behold, you will be making a difference in your life that will change the story of your life for good. And so once more, happy Valentine's Day. And we should remember that we are the light of the world, that Jesus came to die for us unconditionally and showed us so much love. And so we as the light of the world should be able to emulate and copy this example to show the watching world that we are not giving in to love remixed, but we are giving in to unconditional love as was manifested by Jesus on the cross of Calvary. The Bible is the road, Jesus the code, sin the obstacle, and heaven the destination. Shalom, good people.